and so your Hindu tattoo, they told you the it's reason an, why you're not Hindi, let in. And they kept pointing to it. They kept saying you're not allowed in because we can't, we don't know what that says. Because they did not know what it because says. Because they did not know what it says. Did you tell them what it says? Why do I have to explain myself? Like, what did law enforcement say to you? She literally said I have henna, and they said and no. It, it's, it is what it is, right? It's their private event, and like, how is this free speech when like they get to pick and choose who comes in based on what people look like, based on what they're wearing? Like, what do you make of it that they were allowing some other Thank women you. in, other people of color were allowed in, but you weren't allowed in, among others? What, they pointed, they pointed specifically at this tattoo, which is in another language, I guess, and. They were like, she can't, she can't be here. Do you feel like it was more random, or they actually felt like you were, you were being targeted specifically? Because my friends got in, and they, they're also like people of color, so it's, it's. I don't know how they're picking and choosing, but this, this can't be categ. How is this a free speech event? If I don't know. What's your name, ma'am? Um, my name is Simran. I'm a student at UF. Your name's are? I would rather not have my last name. Can you spell your first name? S I M R A N. The whole build up to this has been law enforcement, you it's know, all the you can't get in, just your emotions right now. Like, you must be feeling, I don't know. It's it, it. The fact that, like, it's a lot easier for some people to get in and, like, it's very obvious who they want in at their event and who they don't. So like, you can tell what their agenda is just by this.